We made it. Almost all the rust from the outside is removed. We just need to take off the sliding door tomorrow and work on a tiny little spot there. I think it needs to be welded. Our neighbor is going to have a look at it. He's a mechanic and um, yeah, and if it does need some welding, he's also going to do it tomorrow directly. And today, Fabio and me, we are going to work on the filler, the cold filler. The cold filler. Sealant. Sealant. So the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some masking tape and cover the area that we definitely don't want to have painted. Um, this is the area under the trim and at the end you will not see it because it's hidden under the trim. And we didn't really decide now what we want to do with those spots, if we're just going to put some hammer right on top or if we're going to paint it properly because as I said you don't see them at the end but we are going to try different things now as they're hidden we can just completely mess it up <laughs> so I just put the masking tape and the first thing we're gonna work on now is this little hole here I don't know if you guys can see it, but Fabio already put some kind of sticker from the inside and after we're going to put the sealant on top. So there will hopefully no water sit on here anymore and get stuck there. So Fabio is mixing the filler now and he just puts a uh, little blob <laughs> yeah after this i'm gonna put a little bit of arden ardener and um, gonna mix it a little bit and after i'm gonna like use that on the car so this is the ardener This needs to be like two, uh, two to four parts of Ardener uh, respect to the percentage, percentage to the um, to the filler. Yeah, and if you put too much, of course, it's gonna be get hard really fast so it's gonna be really hard to work with and if you put less of course it's not gonna get hard for ages usually after um, maybe half an hour you can already start to send the filler back My first job today is to paint all the parts that are hidden under the trim. We're going to paint everything in silver and we're not going to sandpaper it. We're not going to smooth everything out. They are going to be hidden under the trim. No one will see them ever again. So just color them to protect the metal. Silver. <laughs> Look, that was really shitty. <laughs> that should better not happen. Das war sehr schlecht. <laughs> Zum Glück üben wir das. Das ist die Frage. Ist das dieselbe Farbe?
go. First thing I did was to clean the surface so there is no dust anymore. And now I'm going to paint it in silver. Okay, and now we have to wait 10 minutes and then we can apply the second coat. going to start to fill all the spots that we were working on from the outside and that are going to be visible and I will start to fill them with this product um, <laughs> it's a fine filler and I will try to make like a super smooth and even surface so you will not uh, see the spots anymore after Sanding, sanding, sanding. It's just sanding. At the moment, I'm just using 80 grit and 180 grit uh, for sanding. First, 80 grit for like really get the most of the um, of the rough surface. After it, uh, 180 for uh, making a little bit smoother. And after, I'm using this one. It's like 280. I don't know if you guys can probably, you can't really see it. It's been used a lot and it's really soft. It's a pad and this one goes like all oh, everywhere. I can go with a, just a flat surface. So, and it, because it's like 280, it's uh, finer than 180 actually. So like makes, uh, takes away all the scratches of the other um, grid we used before and um, try to do my best it's not perfect we are not professional in this van building um, business is not the things we ever done before so um, we try to do our best and uh, we're learning from it and we'll see maybe next time we're gonna make a new van it's gonna be way way easier and we're probably gonna remember all of this sanding and other stuff
Today we're gonna send all the trim, all the pieces underneath the car. I'm gonna use some 400 uh, grit sandpaper and after maybe a 600 grit sandpaper. Just for make like the paint that we're gonna use stick a little bit more on the, on the car. Yeah, just gonna use the sandpaper, wet sandpaper, so it's not gonna affect too much the um, the card is gonna, not gonna make too much scratches. And yeah, follow me. You can probably see what a shitty job I've done with the sandpaper before and now I'm just gonna keep keep going and just keep doing it until it's gonna be like pretty much like this like really like matte color and try to take the um, clear coat as much as possible away from the from the paint so let's get back into it So guys, I'm gonna show you the results now. So I don't know if you guys can see, but like here, the color is pretty much gone. It's really matte now. And there's some spot over here or here. There is, um, it's like still the lack, still the first coat of the, the clear coat of the car that was before. So now, when is everything is dry and I really can see where um, I didn't do a good job, I'm gonna just redo it again with the 400. I think 400 will be quite nice. I'm not sure if I need the 600. Then I hit an under the trim and I'm going to just... Oh. Oh. paint. Now we just need to wait half an hour and then we can apply the clear coat, right? Yes. We're not going to show this in the video. Mm -hmm. Still 